Hey guys, I'm Suleiman Khan and you're watching The Engineer Boy. Okay, so in this video, we'll be just learning about the geolocation functionality of the AutoCAD. We will be just learning how to use the geolocations maps, or you can say the Google Maps, and how can we open Google Maps in AutoCAD, and then how we can just, uh, you can say, extract areas or plots from the maps okay let's just jump into the AutoCAD as you can see I'm using AutoCAD 2021 you can use any advanced version okay this functionality is not available in older versions okay let's just start a new drawing and as you can see I don't like these grades so I'm going to turn these off okay let's just move ahead make sure you're just logged in to your Autodesk account okay that's as you can see i have been logged in and you can just actually navigate to the insert tab and then as you can see in the location panel we have this icon you can also type okay maps or maybe geolocation in the command bar okay i'm just going to click from the map okay we can just set location and you can also just set location from the file you can say for this time i don't have file so let's just click from map as you can see this dialog box appears okay if you have a good internet connection i don't have a good internet connection but still it's a little bit working okay you can just or you can say type or you can say enter address or maybe latitude longitude or to search a location okay maybe you can change the um, the map style okay from roads to aerial and bird's eyes okay let's just type over here the address i'm going to type uh, you can say kpk for this time you can type any uh, location any address when you type that make sure you click this search as you can see we can just drop a marker here something else you can do it okay you can zoom in zoom out you can have elevations as you can see some things if you have just dropped a uh, marker you can say okay let's just drop a mark over here okay you can even change the location okay does not matter okay let's just click next it's working okay it's just uh, you can say uh, navigating us to the uh, second page of the dialog box as you can see you can just uh, you can say set the coordinate system uh, as I'm just here in Pakistan, uh, let's just try UTM, okay? You can just search, of course, in the search box over here. And let's try UTM 8442 NARC, okay? You can try your country's uh, GIS coordinate system, okay? I'm going to click date one, and when I'm done, you can also actually just uh, change the time zone, okay? Let, let me just search, okay, for it some some places or uh, which are been in pakistan you can say or oh, does not matter this time oh, okay okay it's over here okay you can see islamabad karachi and that's done you can just change your drawing units to any other units this time inches are okay for me okay click next now if you don't know what to do look at the command bar select a point for the location i'm going to press enter for the zero zero coordinates and now it's asking to uh, specify the north direction okay let me just uh, the you can say turn on the ortho mode okay and that's my actually the direction for the north okay now that's been done okay as you can see we have this red mark uh, you can say in the working area which is actually showing our uh, point okay now as you can see my internet is not that good so we have to wait for that for the geolocation you can see we, we got a new tab actually uh, called geolocation where you can just edit your location from map from file you can reorient the marker you can remove the location actually and you can just mark a position okay let me just zoom in as you can see that's a pretty amazing thing okay you can just do anything okay whatever you want this is a pretty amazing map okay you can just uh, place a marker okay let's just uh, place a point over here so we can understand our location if we just uh, you can say uh, if we forget or maybe we delete by mistake okay so my plot that's a good thing okay okay that's so small so I'm going to scale that little bit as you can see that's my 
plot okay now what we can do something uh, very different is we can just extract this area and determine its you can say its properties okay you can also change the the style from the aerial to a hybrid maybe okay my internet is not helping so we will just wait for it or maybe we can just change our mind to um, something else okay you can even capture the area you can even capture the viewport okay okay let, let's just press escape because the internet is not working and this time the aerial uh, map is very good I think okay so what, what we can do next is actually as you can see this is if my plot and, and if I need to determine its area then I mean what can we do for it okay if I need to determine the area of this plot okay so let's just move ahead I'm going to click on the polyline okay make sure you zoom in and then just click the boundary of your uh, property maybe of your uh, plot your land okay this time this is my land okay as you can see this okay this is actually the the boundary you don't have to go to the you can say the actual uh, land okay to determine its area now this is a polygon and remember you can just uh, uh, determine its area by typing double a in the command bar then press enter and then just click object and then click this you can say polyline or maybe a polygon okay as you can see the area has been shown over here okay with the length now make sure this is in in you can say in uh, inches square inches because our university has been set to the square inches okay now you can copy it paste it over here okay from the clipboard and then paste it over here that's the area actually three four three two six six one point five four five zero the length is also been given over there okay so this is pretty amazing okay something very cool that is available in advanced version of AutoCAD. okay so you can just capture the area you can capture the viewport let me just capture the area okay I just need this area you can just send this to the client okay if you want okay you can just copy it and then maybe you can just uh, send it through WhatsApp maybe something else okay and there are actually just copyrights of Microsoft okay okay so you just keep that in mind so this is how we can use a geolocation okay or if you like the video please hit that subscribe button because that helps me a lot see you in the next video